$1.6 billion has recently been invested in Nigeria's transmission lines and substations, but that hasn't stopped the national grid from collapsing at least four times this year. The total quantum of electricity generated on the grid fell by 1,000 megawatts, according to the latest data from the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing. A correspondent, Habida Lawal, examines how this is affecting micro-businesses. Frank Okechuku operates a laundry service, which he solely depends on to earn a living. For the past two weeks, as you can see, look at, I've just started ironing this one. They took like since two weeks. He tells me how this power supply drives his work and shows me heaps of clothes that are yet to be dry cleaned due to inadequate power supply. Look at this one. It's my customer. This is one of the clues. There are many inside because of no light. I pack them inside. The light is not system. Sometimes they will bring the light, a minute they will take it back. They will not, there's no how, even the, the bill is very outrageous. We don't get steady light. My customer complaining. And Nepal will come here, they will cut off the light. We've been applying for, uh, for, for meter all this while. They refuse to give us meter. We are not enjoying the light here in Chai. As you can see, I'm here since morning waiting for the light to come. My customer complaining over the light issue. Or they will give me work, I can't be able to do it. They will be complaining and calling me on phone. Even my battery is all, all, almost down. I can't give them their work. They are complaining seriously. Just like Frank, Emmanuel and Johnson are barbers whose business thrive mainly on electricity. We can just, uh, we are working for here. We can just use generator. At day, I can use the buy like two gallons of fuel to just come for my day because of issues the light that we doesn't have. So it just be like, if I, don't, if I don't think about it, it just be like I'm using my money to just give people that way they're selling fuel. I'm not benefiting anything at times. The whole business per se works with electricity. Because without electricity, we cannot, Apparently now you can see our own gen. So Nepal has been giving us headache, we don't have light and there's no way for us to improve the business. In recent times, power supply has gone from bad to worse, putting little businesses like this in jeopardy. The nationwide blackout experienced in most parts of the country some weeks back was the result of a collapse of the power grid. And despite efforts to fully restore the system, power continues to be unstable in some locations. The transmission company says it was the worst ever shutdown of the grid in the past three years. If you look at the transmission, we are the most vulnerable in the power sector value chain. You see the discourse they collect our money and they give based on what you call best endeavor. They give what they want to give. If our services are very costly, who pays? It's the Nigerian people. And I can tell you our privatization has no model all over the world. This is a Nigerian model. So we now have to fix the problem because it's a problem. Because if you do a privatization that doesn't attract, attract investment, and investment is not coming to the system, how do you reduce the losses? And if you run the system for five years and no investment has come, if the losses are 50%, now the losses will be about 70%. Do you transfer the 70% losses to the, to the populace to pay? The Transmission Company of Nigeria has made a case for a functional supervisory control and data acquisition in order to prevent a recurrence. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja. You know, some experts have talked about this issue of collapsing the grid, collapsing national grid, to the um, obsolete equipment and infrastructure in the power sector. Absolutely. That's one aspect that um, a lot of um, persons or those who are supposed to handle these things, you know, shy away from talking mm -hmm. about because this you know, equipment are obsolete. But then, uh, and, and even besides that, the issue of the national, you know, there's, there's one national grid. Wherever you you're, you're are generating ele electricity and megawatts, you put it into the national grid. Of so course. the point there is there's, there's a national pool. Uh, and, and it makes the it capacity. so heavy. Exactly. Now the, the, it's uh, a challenge. That's why you, uh, people are advocating now. Let us, you know, unbundle this grid so that if you have to make it uh, region by region, Perhaps so, so that whatever happens in the northwest or does northeast not affect doesn't those exactly. in the south. Perhaps <laughs> you know. we'll look at that 